You know me, Propel Slushy uh, NF. What the? You trying to take my spotlight again? <laughs> That's it. Collider no. Jutsu, please. <laughs> now that we got him out the way, I need to get over there. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <Well. laughs> This is crazy. This collider power is insane. Hold on a second. <sighs> there we go. You know me, Perfel Slushy NFT. Welcome everybody back to day two, video number two. I hope everyone is doing great today. This is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is New Year's. So I just want to say to everybody, as we are going into 2022, I want everybody to have one goal and really try to reach for that goal at the end of this next year. 2021 wasn't the best year for a lot of different reasons, but that doesn't mean that we can't have a great year in 2022. Make sure that you wake up every single day with a smile on your face and be grateful for everyone that you have in your life. In today's video, we're going to be talking about another really, really dope project called Collider Craftworks. So let's get into the video and let's get talking about NFTs. So Collider Craftworks, you might be wondering, what is that? Well, this is probably one of the coolest upcoming projects that I have seen. It's super under the radar and the way they're doing it, I think is amazing. I was blessed enough to get invited to this Discord when there was only around 2,000 members. Since then, the Discord has grown to about 8,000 members, almost 8,800, but they are only opening up the Discord to 10,000 members. And then after that, they're going to do like different events to get into the Discord. Um, I will talk about a little bit about that in a little bit, but talking about Collider Craftworks, Right now, if you wanna know about this great NFT project, come to the Collider Craftworks Twitter page, definitely follow it. They will be opening up their Discord soon to allow about a thousand more people in there before they completely shut it down and not allow anybody else in there until they have different events in order to allow people to get into the Discord. But definitely follow their Twitter to keep up with all their latest up-to-date tweets, things like that, because you never know when the Discord will open back up. So coming over to the page, right off the bat, you got this cool helmet, it says we are Cypher by Collider Craftworks. We are the next avatar evolution designed to thrive and survive in the metaverse. OpenSea Collection is here. They currently don't have anything on their page. Um, so you don't have to worry about going to this yet. And then they also have the website. I always go do my research. It's always important to do your research on projects before you invest your time into it because you want to make sure that it's going to be a project that you really want to be a part of and you really think that they have a good mission and a good roadmap. So I always like to kind of do that. Before I normally go into the website, I kind of scroll down. I check to see what's going on. It says, time to chill, fam. Get some needed rest. We're incredibly grateful for a great end to the year. We'll be back Monday with more goodies. Happy New Year. Scroll down. They are doing um, right here. We'll be opening our server back up till we hit 10K. And then we'll close it back till we have time to regroup and discuss the best way to grow our community. Make sure to invite the good ones. Thank you for unworldly end of the year. So if you scroll down, some of this art is just absolutely mind blowing. When you see the developers and the team behind it, you understand why this art is going to be so different and the utility behind it. Not really the utility, but I would say the, the mission and the, what they want to do with these actual, you know, avatars is going to be super, super cool. So let's scroll up and let's click on this link and let's head over to the website and see what that's all about. So we come over to the website, you get this instant sweet video right off the bat where it's showing, uh, I don't know if it's a GIF or what, but it's super, super dope. You can see all the different helmets and stuff here. It's just right off the bat, it just caught my eye. I was like, dude, this is super dope. We are Cypher by Collider Craftworks. I was like, I need to see what this is all about. You can see the director, Daniel, everyone else that's involved in the project, and this is going to be run off of the Unreal Engine. So you scroll down, we are Cypher, the arbiters of truth, law and order have failed us for the last time. Their financial institutions crumbled. 
around us as they plunder, silence, and enforce dated constructs. We are Cypher. We make our own luck and live by our own rules. Our kind is beyond borders or bound. We are nomads from no land and obey no matter. As soon as I read this, I was like, dude, this sounds like a sick story. I just need to learn more about it. Tay World, we're the new kids on the block and we're excited to be here. If you've played Mortal Kombat, Assassin's Creed, or Injustice 2, then you've played with some of the characters we've developed. The world has changed and brought a clear need for this rich, immersive, interoperable, virtual experiences beyond the constraints of traditional games and social networks. We want to be part of that change. We'll focus on creating powerful tools, content, and experiences for the next generation of creators, brands, and IPs. This will be a wild ride, and we hope you're ready to join in on all the fun, the Collider team. So Visual Wallet, inspired by the idea of leveraging new tech, sta new tech stacks combined with our experience on AAA games, the craziness of the NFT world, we're developing a visual wallet that will bring your virtual identity to life while keeping your digital goods protected on the chain. Built on the Unreal Engine, the metahuman skeleton, your avatar and digital goods will be ready for the next generation of games and experiences. Combine and collect in style. Scroll down. So this is actually going to be a game, an FPS game. And what's really cool about this, so if you have gotten into Discord, if you've been lucky enough or blessed enough to get into the Discord, you might have ran into some of the developers or the director, Daniel. He hops into the chat about twice a day during the weekdays, and he kind of talks about the projects and different things like that. Yesterday, I got the pleasure of actually meeting Daniel for the first time. Daniel is a wonderful, wonderful dude. He has great charisma, a great personality, and I truly, truly do believe he is really caring about the community and he wants to see the space thrive and he really cares about everybody as they are like a family. Because when we were sitting in the Discord yesterday when I hopped in there, the first thing that he did, there was 25 people in the chat, and he's like, all right, I'm gonna show you guys this QR code, but you can't show anybody. We scanned it, we opened it up, and it brought us to this super dope website that basically said, scan your phone around the room. I scanned my phone around the room, and there was like a helmet, one of these helmets right here, actually, and what it did is it was augmented reality. So it took that helmet and it like put it on my wall. And then when I like would move my camera around, say I did a 360 in my room, as I would go over to that spot where it was on the wall, it would show there. So it's basically like you can have like a virtual reality trophy on your wall, or like I could set it on my desk and the helmet would be on my desk if I looked at it through my phone. So it's just really, really dope. That's just something really simple with augmented reality. But what they wanna do is whenever like a camera looks at you, when you move stuff like that, your actual avatar will move like you. This is augmented reality. He was saying that I believe his team has one of the biggest um, uh, asset libraries in the world. I don't remember if it was for augmented reality or something like that, but they also just purchased a really expensive scanner. So their team is constantly developing and getting into augmented reality, AI, stuff like that. So I think that what they're doing is next level. It's pretty revolutionary in the tech world. And I think that if you want to be with a really, really cool NFT and be part of a community or be part of a game that's going to be next level, Collider Craftworks is definitely going to be the NFT for you. Besides that, Daniel went around, he was talking to us all. And what really made me understand that like all right this dude is sweet they really do care about the community is he went around and asked everybody what their life goals are all 25 people gave everybody a chance to speak people were saying that they want to do this they want to do that and he was giving real world advice on um things that he's been through in life um talking about how to achieve these goals and he was like for everybody that has a goal this next year make sure you post it in the chat so we can all celebrate with you that you've reached these goals. He was just really, really helpful. He was talking about reading a book called The Richest Man in Babylon. If you guys have never heard of that book, I actually just ordered it, so I can't wait till it comes and I'm going to read it. But it basically talks about a lot of real life lessons about how to make money in the real world and all these different lessons and things revolving around that. So I highly, so I highly recommend getting that book. So with that being said, Daniel is a really, really great guy. If you're watching this, it was awesome talking to you in the chat yesterday. But moving on though, we're gonna scroll down. This is actually what their office looks like. It's a bunch of developers and they're constantly working on this NFT project. 
and they've worked on a bunch of AAA games, Street Cred, Injustice 2, Street Fighter V, Assassin's Creed, Gotham Knights, and Mortal Kombat. So they have a lot going on. So now that we've looked at this, let's go over to the Discord and see what that's all about. So when you first come into the Discord, like all NFT Discords, you gotta verify yourself, read the rules, select your role, go check out README, things like that. So the rules, pretty easy, respect, no spam, self or self-promotion, age friendly, use search and post on appropriate channels and enjoy your community. Come down to the README. Um, here's a little document of what we put together. Hopefully shed some light on any doubts and questions you may have about us or the project. What is good with Collider Craftworks NFTs? We have over five years of experience developing characters for iconic games. If you've played Mortal Kombat X, XI, Assassin's Creed, or Injustice 2, then you've played with some of the characters we've developed. Now we are putting all our tools, experience, and expertise together to bring you the next avatar evolution designed to thrive and survive within the metaverse. Will there be giveaways? No promises, just surprises. Stay tuned. Do you have a roadmap? We'll be announcing the roadmap for our first drop coming soon. What are your, when are you dropping your first NFT collection? Soon, we'll be announcing the dates. And who's the team behind the Collider Craftworks? We are a super professional team of 84 of the world's most creative and technically gifted individuals based on based in Buenos Aires, Argentina, yes, Messi and Mardona. So super dope. You can find out more information about the website, which I will post in the description down below, along with their Twitter. If you come down, they have some important links like the ciphers, the Twitter, the Instagram. They also have an Instagram. I will be posting that link and the YouTube as well. And I will also be posting that link as well. They have different events. So they wanted to do a warm welcome, welcome everyone into the Collider fam. So they decided to, to do, so they've decided to do a challenge on Twitter. Make sure you keep up with their Twitter. As you can see, there's only 8,800 people in the discord. They want to open it up to 10,000 soon. So definitely keep a lookout on Twitter. You might get invited by somebody if you um, know anybody in the community. So definitely keep on a lookout for that. Um, next, they have the announcements page the server announcements, things like that, the social feed, and then they do giveaways, which they haven't done yet. Then there's a chat. This chat is very similar to the Like Island chat that I talked about in um, my video yesterday. This is another community that is super tight knit. What I liked about this community is when Daniel was speaking with us yesterday, he asked us, he's like, all right, well, we don't want to just have our Discord be like every other NFT Discord and have a bunch of people in the chat and it's just super, super hyped up and everybody's just in there, you know, just trying to just chat about whatever and just get the whitelist. They actually want people to add value to the community. So he went around the room and asked people how or what would be the best way to add value to the community. A lot of us agreed that keeping the Discord small and maybe doing some sort of event. He talked about maybe doing something where each member can invite three people and they get a QR code. So the members in the Discord, they get a QR code, they go around the city, they might post those QR codes around the city and then there'll be like a game to go find the QR code and scan it. And if you scan it, you'll be allowed to get into the Discord, things like that. So every single person that invites three people, they're responsible for the people that they invite. So you don't want to invite someone and they just cause havoc in the Discord or they're just in here, you know, just to make a quick flip or something like that. They really truly do care about the community. They want it to be like a family and I absolutely love that with this NFT. I look for NFT communities like this. Um, there's a lot of discords out there that are just trying to, you know, get as many people as they can to try to, you know, make a lot of money, things like that. But discords and communities that actually care about their community, they want it to be like a family. This is what I'm all about. And Clatter's Craftworks NFT is definitely going to be all about this. So definitely, if you can keep in touch with this project and definitely, definitely, definitely try to get into the discord. If you can follow the Twitter. So when I was talking yesterday to Daniel, a lot of people were asking him like, hey, do you guys want to collaborate with anything? Do things like that? He said he's definitely open up to collab with people and some of the communities that he wants to maybe potentially do a collab with is um, Voyagers Unknown, C01, Fiat Lux, Clonex, My Pet Hooligans, Gal uh, Galliverse, uh, Akuzi, Neo Tokyo, Project Nanopass, and Jadu. So potentially they might be doing a collab that is not uh, confirmed. Um, I, I do believe that he's talked to some people, but nothing is confirmed yet, but be on the lookout for that. If something like that happens, this project could be very next level, especially with the tech that they have, and what they kind of want to do in the AR space, augmented reality and things like that. Another really cool channel that they have in here is going to be the show your art channel. 
people in here have insane art. What they do with these colliders are amazing. I think the art is super, super dope. And people in this community just really, really, really want to, you know, be part of the community and they really want to just show their love for it, which is awesome to see right here. We got a um, Sub-Zero uh, type on court collider, which is pretty cool. And then you got the memes page, which is down here, which I always think is really dope as well. And then also, which was different that I've never seen in another discord is up here in the um, I believe it's in the first steps. If you go to the role info, you can uh, verify yourself on any of these. So if you're a content creator, NFT collector, trader, or gamer, you can pick your roles. And then in the Discord, you'll be shown with those roles, which is really, really awesome. Also, the last but not least is the chat. As you can see, there's always people in chat. They're always talking. This is another Discord where I've made a bunch of friends recently. So if you're looking for another community to join, definitely keep a lookout for Collider Craftworks. Last but not least, if you guys haven't seen my video from yesterday about Like Island, that is another really, really cool NFT collection that you guys should try to be a part of. The community is great. It's like a family. It's kind of like Collider's Craftworks with the community and the family. Um, so if you're looking for something like that, definitely join the Like Island community. I will also leave their description in the description down below. But that's gonna be it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be trying to post a video every day this month. We will see what happens, but I'm just really, really super motivated as we are going into 2022. Remember everybody have a great new year, set those goals, achieve those goals. And remember, start every single day with a smile on your face. Until next time, it's been your boy, Purple Slushy. Peace.